but let's start with the main uh, the main dish, uh, Liverpool. Yep. Uh, and so we finally get the press conference that people have been bitching and moaning about for months. And the entire press conference, we were talking about it with Matush this morning too, was spent asking questions like, do you put your shoes on like Klopp? Uh, do you wipe your ass like Klopp? Uh, do you eat like Klopp? Do you like celery as well? And stuff like that. And none of the questions, except the one that came from Chris Pajek that he got like smashed for in terms of formation, uh, none of the really valid questions were asked for the most part. And I think even the ones that were asked were just punted away. But what is your biggest takeaway? Let's start with slot because obviously they were Hughes was there as well. Uh, so we'll talk about that bit separately because they, it, I always felt like we got more info from him than we did from slot. Uh, but what is your initial reaction to the press conference? Well, I will say this. My first and most initial reaction is I'm with you. Less questions about Klopp. Like, can we just not talk about Klopp so much? And I saw that repeatedly in the comments because I think that's like almost like a consistent feeling for the supporters. We we went through three months of saying goodbye to the man. Can we just let him go? Like, can we we get him back in five years for the five year reunion of the championship team? We can we can have our moments where he's up in the clap crowd and we clap him off right in the director's box. Yep. But like, we don't need to be talking about him on July 8th like he's still in charge or like he has been gone for a decade and we're, you know, missing the days of Kenny Daglish, right? And like, yeah. like these things. Like, So I understand where you're coming from. What I will say about Slot was I thought he was really, really good at not getting defensive about all the questions about Klopp. Because I think a different manager – would have been like, why are you asking me about the old guy? I'm here to be the new guy. And like, almost like, I thought he did a good job of answering the questions, but also deferring to the idea of like, you know, when Jurgen came here, he said he was the normal one. How do you respond in your first press conference? And he's like, was he that normal? He was a wonderful manager and he won a lot. And I just hope I win a lot. And if I win a lot, people will like me here. Like, and I respected how he deflected how the questions were about Klopp, but tried to make his answers about how he would be different or the way he thinks. And for me, what I got was, was I felt like he did have an organized way to answer his questions. And I think when, I think he's going to be good with the media, even when the questions get hard and when times get tough. So I, I, I think in some ways I heard some things I really liked. I'm just I really thought, like the interview was like this press conference was easier than the interview we thought was going to be was too I, easy because it was scripted. This was almost like easier because they were just throwing beach balls at him. And yeah, I do agree with you, though. He was smart in terms of how we handled those beach balls. And, you know, instead that, of just saying, you know, yeah, I mean, he was able to kind of take the question fluff it up a bit more to so make everybody all the club lovers happy and then present it in his own format as an exact example the one question that hung with me the most of all of them and i went back and listened to it today because i knew we'd be talking about it more i just wanted to be kind of like sure myself up on it but when he was asked about the city and how you're getting connected with the city and how do you plan to connect with the city and how will you do it so quickly? And I wanted to say, I wanted to be like, if I were there, I would have yelled out like, hey, bleeping moron. Jurgen didn't connect with the city in the first three months he was here. He didn't even have a place to live. He had to move into the old coach's house because yep. he couldn't even find a house. He was coming in with such short notice. So for me, it felt like like what, what I loved about Slot's answer there was he was like, I'm going to learn the city over time. For now, I'm trying to learn the players, and I have two months to get them ready to play meaningful football matches, and I'm pretty sure the best way to win over this city is by winning. Yeah, I mean, and it's